shepherd of the flock entrusted to you by the Lord. You dedicated all your strength and heart, all your mind and soul to Christ. In the remotest regions you labor tirelessly without thought of earthly reward for the sake of his holy church and the salvation of all. We, the recipients of your great spiritual legacy, offer to you this hymn of praise. As you stand before the throne of the Lord of glory, intercede for our land and its people. That united in one holy Orthodox Church, we may gratefully sing to you. Rejoice, O Holy Father, Metropolitan, innocent, equal to the Apostles, and Enlightener of all us. O Holy Father, innocent, your glory has shone from the far eastern lands to the western world. From humble origins in a Siberian village, you rose to world renown as a modern apostle. The Lord chose you to bring the Orthodox faith to the ancient peoples of Alaska and Asia, who together with us honor you with these songs of praise. Rejoice, imitator of the apostles and their successor. Rejoice, evangelizer of the Arctic peoples. Rejoice, scholar and teacher of the Aliyuds. Rejoice, illuminator of the Eskimos and Indians. Rejoice, humble genius whose footsteps were guided by the Lord. Rejoice, visionary architect of the Orthodox Church in America. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of Alaska. You distinguished yourself as a young student, displaying your many interests and talents by excelling in your studies at home and in school. Your greatest joy was the service of God and his holy church. Your uncle instructed you in the ways of piety and faith so that from an early age you sang to the Lord. Alleluia. In your youth, the Lord prepared you for your lifetime of service by enabling you to study various disciplines. Remembering your dedication, we thankfully celebrate your memory. Rejoice, your talents were employed in the service of Christ. Rejoice, your achievements inspire all who are familiar with them. Rejoice, skilled craftsman, imitator of the carpenter of Nazareth. Rejoice, clockmaker who proclaimed the timeless one. Rejoice, your teachers marveled at your intelligence. Rejoice, your spiritual children praise your humility. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of all preparation at the seminary at Irkutsk. You accepted the divine call to the missionary frontier of Alaska. Together with your wife, the beloved Catherine, you set out on your apostolic journey to Russian America. As you sang to the Lord, Alleluia. 
as a newly ordained priest, you showed great determination in reaching your destination 1,000 miles away in the Bering Sea. You willingly forsook all for the sake of the gospel of Christ, traveling for many months over frozen tundra and treacherous seas. Inspired by your dedication, we sing to you. Rejoice, Apostle, to America! Rejoice, heroic founder of orthodoxy in the Western world! Rejoice, in the teacher of the Holy Apostle Paul! Rejoice, courageous voyager on the northern seas! Rejoice, your dedication equaled that of the Apostles! Rejoice, your perseverance was a gift of the Holy Spirit! Rejoice, O Holy Father innocent! Equal to the Apostles and Enlightener of all Together with your tutor, the Aliu chieftain Ivan, you studied the native language and devised a writing system for it. You labored for many years, preparing the word of God for publication in the Aleut tongue. You astounded the indigenous peoples with your ability to preach to them in their own language, thus enlightening them with the light of Christian truth. We glorify God for bringing you to our shores and honor your evangelical accomplishments. Rejoice in noblement of ancient peoples. Rejoice, Father of learning in Alaska. Rejoice, teacher of virtue and divine truth. Rejoice, catechist of those seeking righteousness. Rejoice, your vision inspires all future visionaries. Rejoice, your brilliance illumines the Arctic night. Rejoice, O Holy Father innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of all. season your efforts to evangelize your scattered flock. Warmed by your love for the Lord, you journeyed in your bite or go on the icy waves, softly singing to the Creator of all. Ten years you remained in the Aleutian Islands, you devoted much time and energy to the study of the land, people, and wildlife of the area. You kept careful records of your experiences and observations so that this heritage could be preserved for future generations. You opened schools for the native children so that they could advance in the knowledge of God and His creation. Praising the Lord for his bounties, we offer a hymn to you. Rejoice, patient instructor of the simple and the wise. Rejoice, scholar and teacher of the Aleutian languages. Rejoice, preserver of Alaska's ancient heritage. Rejoice, dispeller of the darkness of ignorance. Rejoice, perceptive observer of the wonders of creation. Rejoice, messenger of the good news of salvation. Rejoice, O Holy Father. To the apostles.
apostles and enlightener of all us God. Having created a written language for the native people, you developed textbooks for them so that they could become literate, reading the word of God in their own tongue, and giving thanks to God, the Alleyus sang with joy, Alleluia. O Holy Father, you traveled beyond the limits of your own extensive district into the land of the Eskimo people. You brought to the natives of Bristol Bay the sanctifying grace of holy baptism. You made the Nushagak River a new Jordan for them, bringing Christianity to the northern shores of the Bering Sea, where you are remembered today with these words of praise. Rejoice, enlightener of the Eskimo nation. Rejoice, sanctification of the Nushagak. Rejoice, husbandmen sent to the plentiful Rejoice, laborer in the vineyard of Christ. Rejoice, warrior clothed in the armor of truth. Rejoice, soldier armed with the gospel of peace and the sword of prayer. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of all. Orthodox Cathedral in the New World, designing the temple and supervising its construction yourself. The faithful celebrated the consecration of the new church, singing the hymn of thanksgiving. Alleluia. Transferring the center of your missionary activity to the city of New Archangel, you began anew the evangelization of the Klingit people. You became proficient in their language and preached the gospel in their villages, winning converts to Christ by your knowledge of medicine as well as theology. You admired the nobility of these proud warriors, who together with us offer these praises to you. Rejoice, teacher of the Klingit Indians. Rejoice, physician of souls and bodies. Rejoice, fearless apostle protected by God. Rejoice, illuminator of the northern peoples. Rejoice, mountain rising above the clouds of Harbor sheltering from treacherous seas. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of Alaska. You were summoned to appear before the Holy Spirit present your many translations for ecclesiastical approval. You returned to your homeland by circumnavigating the globe. Arriving at St. Petersburg, you praised God in song. of the repose of your wife, Catherine, during your absence, you prayerfully visited the holy monasteries at Kiev and Zagorsk in order to discern the Lord's will. The emperor himself, impressed with your apostolic fervor and achievements, approved your elevation to the rank of bishop. Returning to Alaska, you were welcomed with these words. 
Rejoice, you took up the cross and followed Christ. Rejoice, you first brought the joy of the resurrection to Alaska. Rejoice, you were inspired by the heroic example of Saint Innocent of Irkutsk. Rejoice, you promoted the apostolic labors of Saint Nicholas of Japan. Rejoice, you were among the first to ask the elder Herman to intercede for you. Rejoice, by his prayers you arrived safely in Kodiak. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of Alaska. As Bishop of the Russian colony, you renewed your efforts to bring the gospel to all Alaska. You opened a seminary in Sitka for the training of indigenous clergy, and designed a new cathedral for the capital city. You also constructed the clock for the church bell tower. When the holy temple was completed, you sang out in gratitude to the Lord. Alleluia. As overseer of the huge diocese, which included eastern Siberia as well as Alaska, you dispatched priests to areas where no missionaries had ever gone. Your own son-in-law was assigned to the Nushagak, while your former student, Father Jacob, set out for the Yukon Delta. Because of your great vision for the future of orthodoxy in this land, we honor you with these hymns. Rejoice, good shepherd of the Arctic. Rejoice, first hierarch of America. Rejoice, our guide to the kingdom of God. Rejoice, benefactor of the needy and oppressed. Rejoice, your foresight determined the growth of the church in Alaska. Rejoice, your boundless energy established the true faith in the north. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of Alaska. With characteristic enthusiasm, you visited the peoples of the Amor Valley in Siberia and began yet again to study their languages and traditions. Together with the Aleuts and Clinkets, they learned to praise the Almighty Creator with a song of thanksgiving. Alleluia! Transferring your headquarters to the Far East, you bid farewell to the New World and returned to the Old. Following the example you had set for them, the native clergy of Alaska continued your work in America. Through them we have become your spiritual children and venerate your memory in these words. Rejoice, student of Alaskan languages and teacher of the true word. Rejoice, preacher in tongues like the apostles on Pentecost. Rejoice, you publish the gospel in the Aleut language. Rejoice, you founded schools for the enlightenment of the native peoples. Rejoice, you directed the evangelization of Alaska and Siberia. 
Christ, you planted the seeds of the Orthodox faith on American soil. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of all us, God. You spent your entire life laboring in remote regions for the propagation of the holy faith. In your later years you were called to yet another great task. You were elected Metropolitan of Moscow to succeed the Venerable Ferret. As you journeyed across the frozen steppes of Asia en route to your enthronement, you sang in amazement to God, Alleluia. You revitalized the missionary spirit of your homeland by organizing societies for the support of evangelical enterprises. You assisted your former flocks with your holy prayers and material aid. We who have benefited from these labors sing to you in gratitude. Rejoice, you are faithful in little things. Rejoice, you have been set over much. Rejoice, rushing wind dispelling the fog of ignorance and fear. Rejoice, mighty river watering the spiritual wilderness. Rejoice, precious vessel filled with the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, adornment of the church in the old world and the new. Rejoice, O Holy Father, innocent, equal to the apostles and enlightener of all throughout your earthly life. You ask that no eulogies be delivered at your burial. Instead, you requested an edifying sermon be preached for the benefit of all. Learning of your falling asleep, your spiritual children commended your soul to the Lord, singing, Alleluia. of your spiritual legacy throughout the new world rejoice today at your glorification O Holy Father asking for your prayers for the church in America we gather to celebrate your remarkable achievements with these words rejoice inspiration of Orthodox pastors and teachers rejoice indicator of the way to the kingdom of heaven rejoice faithful steward in the household of faith rejoice farsighted champion of orthodoxy rejoice loving father of your spiritual children rejoice intercessor for all who come to the orthodox faith rejoice O holy father innocent equal to the apostles and enlightener of all
Holy Father innocent, your glory has shone from the far eastern lands to the western world. From humble origins in a Siberian village, you rose to world renown as a modern apostle. The Lord chose you to bring the Orthodox faith to the ancient peoples of Alaska and Asia, who together with us honor you with these songs of praise. Rejoice, imitator of the apostles and their successor. Rejoice, evangelizer of the Arctic peoples. Rejoice, scholar and teacher of the Aleuts. Rejoice, illuminator of the Eskimos and Indians. Rejoice, humble genius whose footsteps were guided by visionary architect of the Orthodox Church in America. Rejoice, O Holy Father innocent, equal to the Apostles and Enlightener of Alaska. O Holy Father, Good Shepherd of the flock entrusted to you by the Lord, you dedicated all your strength and heart, all your mind and soul to Christ. In the remotest regions you labor tirelessly without thought of earthly reward for the sake of his holy church and the salvation of all. We, the recipients of your great spiritual legacy, offer to you this hymn of praise. As you stand before the throne of the Lord of glory, intercede for our land and its people. That united in one holy Orthodox Church, we may gratefully sing to you. Rejoice, O Holy Father, Metropolitan, innocent, equal to the Apostles and Enlightener of Alaska. 